Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome aboard um, another X Plane 1972 live stream, which is going to be a video anyway in, on YouTube in a few days. But uh, today, I haven't been on um, flying in a while, so I'm actually kind of excited to be back flying at all in this airplane and in this sim. Uh, what are we doing today? We're sitting here at Denver, Colorado. K D E N. We're sitting here in Denver. Uh, in this beautiful uh, Denver airport, large airport. Yeah, I used to work out here a long time ago. And um, this is the home and hub of United Airlines, which um, have most of the gates out here. And everybody else, Frontier had a lot of gates out here too, if I remember correctly. And uh, this airport is unique in many ways. Out here used to be the arrival hall where you come in off the road and, you know, under these tent structures you get down through security and you come underground in the trains to the different terminals just like Atlanta and uh, it's huge airport just big runways tons of them and then the weather was strange in this airport winter time you got hail and snowstorm summertime you got hail also and here's overlooking um, downtown Colorado um, with uh, all the buildings down there it was pretty cool and uh, but today we are in the flight factor a320 still in beta I'm still updating software and stuff I just downloaded the latest update to it hopefully it is a good update with no um, bugs or anything like that so <laughs> we're gonna be testing it right now to see what we got uh, let's jump in the cockpit uh, cold and dark as usual I use head tracking software I uh, got a program called Free Track. Make my own um, track and head clip, just like Track IR, and um, that allows me to move around the cabin. I hope you guys like it. And so let's start them up. Battery one, battery two. All right, so the batteries are up. That's good. Let's bring on some ground power. There it is. And so we have ground power available. Let's turn them on. That should bring up the avionics and the screen testing and stuff. Yep. Please wait. There we go. And there goes the avionics fan, which um, is kind of loud sometimes, but I've heard from um, different real life captain that that's the way it is in the airplane. Okay. Uh, let's go online the IRSs, or the ADIRSs, as in uh, Airbus speak. Align, align, align. Uh, back down to the MCDU and in it put in the route that way we can complete the alignment process so we're going from Denver to Salt Lake City KSLC we're gonna be flying into Mr. Rex's Salt Lake beautiful airport beautifully done I think the Denver I'm sitting at is a freeware so um, that's also not bad also let's wait for the um, alignment to come up there it is align IRS good so once that's done <coughs> We can um, jump down here and um, start setting up the load for this airplane. Uh, fuel, call the fuel truck. Passengers, we're at a gate, so we'll call the door open and call the cargo loaders. We'll do that. All right. And while that's being done, let's also bring up um, our charts. Uh, we're at Navigraph. So let's bring up the Navigraph charts. Give me a second. So that way we can um, follow along with the flight plan and everything else. There we go. <coughs> All right, I'm just turning on this little app called Simlink, and it links up to the Navigraph chart, so it will actually give you exactly where you are location wise on the airport. I haven't logged into it in a while, so I'm just gotta log in, make sure it comes up. I did update the ARAC, but this ARAC is about maybe one or two generations behind. I am using Aerosoft ARAC in the meantime, and that gives um, us the ability to 
fly with the most recent air rack out there so that we can do SIDS and STARS of what's current now you know versus um, all the air rack that the airplane currently has for its in beta all right click that little button right there and there we are it has put us right on the airfield right at the terminal where we are perfect so now we know where we are and um, <coughs> we can get going. We are at the I think A gates. Yep. Yep. We are at, no C gates. C thirty eight. That's where we're at on the airfield. Okay. So let's start adding in um, some data services. Uh, today's flight, let's start with the passengers. Let's see how much passengers we're gonna be having on this flight today. I do use um Simbrief for all my flying because it matches up nicely with the um, Navigraph charts that I have ordered and it looks like in today's flight we're gonna have 126 passengers 126 almost full set that a uh, few seats open uh, as far as fuel it says a uh, block fuel on this flight uh, it's gonna be about a little over an hour flight uh, 5297 kilos on the fuel 5297 set that and that should give us our zero fuel weight of 52 uh, 52.8 and based on sim brief our zero fuel weight should be 53 52.8 perfect so we are set uh, we have everything that we need cargo is right we didn't even need to call out the cargo loaders but cargo is right with this airplane and uh, zero fuel weight is right so we are good to go um, where that is concerned and um, <coughs> we are flying on pilot edge today so I'm gonna call him up and ask for clearance make sure that the route I filed is good so clearance delivery in Denver is 118.75 let's do that 118.75 is clearance delivery and actually we do need to um, <laughs> connect to pilot edge here and we are flying a Delta 2806. There we go. All right. So there goes the connection. All right. Says we're connected. Uh, we're gonna listen in for a while, see if there's anybody on frequency here before we jump in and try to get clearance um, for this flight. Uh, this is not a long flight. It's a little bit over an hour. Um, based on winds and stuff so it shouldn't be a bad long flight I do do some long flights but not not too much most of the time and then once we get clearance I'll go ahead and um, get the ATIS so we can plug all that information in the airplane I right, don't hear anybody on pilot edge but I'm gonna do a um, radio check here and see Uh, good evening, uh, Denver Delivery. This is uh, Delta 2806 requesting IFR clearance to Salt Lake City. Delta 2806, uh, Denver clearance. Good evening, clearance on request. Stand by. Aha! Uh -huh. We are good to go. We got clearance delivery online. And so that uh, frequency was good. Uh, let's see. While we're waiting on clearance, we can also do ground and tower. Uh, it's ground east and ground west. Where are we on the airport? That's north. Uh, Number eight zero one, Romeo Charlie, Oakland Center. Good evening. Delta Robles altimeter is three zero zero one. Ground east one twenty one eight five. Set that up in the meantime. Guy six Mike Charlie, six miles from Toge. Turn right heading one one zero. Maintain two thousand two hundred until established on the localizer. Cleared ILS runway one four right approach. All right. I always like to have uh, my frequencies set up in the meantime. Uh, we're gonna come over here. We haven't done this yet. We're gonna before we start loading, we put the arm on the emergency lights. Nav lights can come on, on on the no smoking sign, seatbelt sign. We'll keep that there for now. We're gonna also turn on the APU. Reason is, if I look at this, outside temperature is minus five in the cabin. Yeah, that's not good. So Delta APU. Forty-seven, forty-five. Uh, taxi via Alpha to the terminal ramp. APU should give us some um, good um, 
temperature via alpha Heat and for the cabin. Delta 4745. And the flaps open on the APU. APU EGT is coming up. That's the fuel and one is going on. And then it's going to say APU available when that's good to go. United 1399, descend at pilot's discretion, maintain flight level 240. APU is almost available there. Sky 6 Mike Charlie, VFR traffic 12 o'clock, 4 miles, be passing left to right across the final altitude, there indicates 1,400, type unknown. Alright, so APU is available. We're going to do the APU bleed, good. And if we come down and check the condition in the cabin, AC, it's now 7 degrees in the cabin, it's people are freezing, so we're going to warm up the cockpit. Which should go up quick, and in a cabin, it takes a little bit longer to go up because you know got all the electronics up front here. <laughs> all right, but that's gonna come up. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the temperature here a little bit. Sky six, Mike Charlie. Traffic's now one o'clock and three miles. It appears to be turning right. southwest. Down should be no factor. So everything is on that we need to be on. We will leave the fuel pumps for now. We got the APU running. APU bleeds on, and we're just waiting for clearance to go. Um, <coughs> let's see, got all my views set up here. Right wing, that's pretty good. All right, in a minute. Delta 2806, clearance. I read a copy of Delta 2806. Delta 2806, cleared to Salt Lake City Airport, put three, RNAV departure, Kremlin transition, then is filed. Climb via the SID, except maintain a 10,000, squawk 3720. All right, uh, clear to Salt Lake, uh, Rocky 3 departure, Kremlin transition as file, clan via the SID, uh, maintain 10,000 and squawk 3720, Delta 2806. Sky 6 Mike Charlie, contact, um, correction, contact, uh, Boeing Tower. Delta 2806, it's uh, now the foot 3 RNAV departure, not the Rocky. Uh, foot 3 RNAV departure, Kremlin transition, rest to read that, correct? So it's going to be the foot three departure, criminal transition, and everything has filed at level 2806. Level 2806, Roger, read back, Rick. All right, so we got the foot three instead. Uh, Skyrock 326, Mike Charlie, on the ILS 14. Right. So that's going to Remember be. Skyrock 326, Mike Charlie, Boeing Tower, window 150 at 5, runway. Lift a little bit different right than what we filed. Left. Foot three. All right, let me just put in a squawk. Runway 140 at 6, Mike Charlie. 3720, come over here, clear, clear. Three seven two zero. Second round ground leader seven zero one Dolph Tango's ready to taxi with the weather. We want to see all traffic, T A R A, and it's on uh, standby or order right now. We'll leave that. All right, so we got all that set up. We got our clearance. We got our <coughs> nav light on. Uh, we got our weight and fuel and all that stuff in. So let's just go ahead and jump in and set up the flight plan. See if there's any more traffic out here today. Uh, nobody else in Denver. Okay, not a problem. All right, <coughs> let's go ahead and Tango, do the flight plan. Runway two taxi via hotel. All right, I'll leave this for Runway last. Two via hotel, seven zero one Tango. All right, flight plan. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's go ahead and do the ATIS. That's going to be very important because with the ATIS, we'll know what runway we're going to be using today. Uh, there's a website that you use called myflightroute.com when you use um, Pilot Edge and it actually at contact Salt Lake City will Center bring up the route you're flying and will bring up the departure and destination airport with the ATIS. Let's go ahead and play that and see what we got. And that's going to be very important because when we go out of Denver and <coughs> departure. We got. We need to know what runway we need to choose. Two three five three Zulu. Wind zero four zero at one zero. Visibility one zero. Nine thousand five hundred scattered. Jackson and ground at three 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 six. Uh, Beechcraft three five two left November. IFR two hundred. Altimeter two niner niner niner. Visual approach yeah, runway 1399 Salt Lake right, Center to send via the Spud 3 three arrival, right, Boise altimeter 3026, three right, and uh, Boise three is landing runway left, 10 left and right. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. All VFR departures, 
contact clearance delivery with your aircraft type, initial heading, and requested cruise altitude. Advise on initial contact you have hotel. Denver International Information Hotel. 2353 Zulu. Wind 040 yes, at 10. South cargo Visibility 10. 9, scattered. Temperature 6. UPS 9715, Phoenix ground, runway 7 right, correction runway. Visual approach 2 5 left three, at Hotel left, 7, taxi right, via three, Hotel. Five left, three, five right, in use. 2 5 left at runway, Hotel 7 right. by Hotel. UPS 9715, and just verify you're going to be able to accept 2 5 left at Hotel 7. All VFR departures, contact. Alright, so based on the ATIS, we're either going to be using. Um, 3-4 right, which is right here by us, uh, 12,000 foot runway, or 3-5 left. So I want to say we're going to be using 3-4 right. Okay, cool. So 3-4 right, uh, it's going to be a short tax. EPS 9715 can uh, awesome. the shortened 2-5 left. 3-4 right. right, departure, uh, foot 3, that's the amended route. All right. <coughs> so that's in there. The whole ground. And that was Beach a Kremlin transition to RLG. To hunt field. All right. So foot to RLG. That's good. RLG is already Three, in. Five, two, go back November. And we're going to do direct ground, EKR. And then that puts us in the Lehi 5 uh, in Salt Lake City. And uh, based on Simbrief, Simbrief is saying that our arrival into Salt Lake is going to be 3-4 right. Alright, so we're going to work with 3-4 right. For now, we can always change it once we get down there. Listen to the ATIS. ILS 3-4 right. Lee E5. And EKR transition. Good to go. Phoenix ground, you get 9715. We can clear this. You know the footage is? Discontinuity. We double up on the EKR there. Clear another discontinuity. UPS 97, discontinuity. 15, heavy say again. And let's just uh, run you know through. How many feet is remaining? Uh, hotel 7, 25 left. Let's just run through our flight plan here. Go out of the plan and step through. Just make sure everything is, is going to be good. So take off. We're going to head to the west. All the waypoints looks good. And stand by. Go 3 4. Right? Oh, awesome. All right. So we're going to insert all of that because that looks good. Flat plan looks perfect. Go back to arc here. Good. Uh, ATIS was 2 9 or 9 or 9 -er. Nice. All right. So we got the ATIS in. We got the clearance done. Let's switch over to ground frequency there. And then we're going to uh, put in the tower frequency so that once we get up to the runway, we can call it in. And that's going to be the... Uh, UPS 9715 heavy, approximately 6,900 feet. West remaining. side, tower. Three, four. Is there any chance we can take 2-5 left uh, full length? 9715 heavy, roger. Hold short, only 2-5 left at Hotel 7. And the tower 4-3-4 we'll uh, right. Left. What's that frequency? Runway 3-4 right. Uh, 135.3. Okay. Ground zero jet 2860 Lima, ready copy IFR 2. 135.3. Okay, zero jet calling executive ground. There's no flight plan on file. Alright, let me resubmit this topic. Okay, let's see where we're at. Alright. It's funny sometimes because I don't use a checklist. And, um, just gotta wing it. <laughs> Not a way to do it. Okay, perf. Actually, go back to your net. The flight number is Delta. Sacramento Executive Tower, Lear 701 Golf Tango, only short of runway 206. And, um, based on Simbrief, our cost index today, and... For 701 Golf Tango, Executive Tower, after departure, flight heading 150, runway 2, clear for takeoff. And, um, 150 after departure, runway 2 clip for takeoff, 701. We're going to be cruising at flight level uh, 370. That's 340. One hour flight. All right, awesome. <coughs> We're, We're going to request a wait that we have boarded in the aircraft, airport. which is 52.8. I'll find two departure. So we're all set there. Kick me. Then direct. And then we're going to go over to Perf and um, find out what our 
maintain trim setting is going to be the takeoff CG 37.0. So 37.0 is going to be. Um, now let's make sure we have that right. Hold on. Takeoff CG is 37. Right, November 352, go back November is clear to the Hunt Field. So it's going uh, to be the down 1.5. So then Dunbar, going to do a takeoff 1.5. So then Dunbar, then that's file. Climb maintain 1500, 132.25 and 5443. November 352, go back November. November 2, go back November, down. read back, correct. Go and um, we have a long UPS runway, so we're going to flex it to uh, 55 flex. flex. UPS awesome. 9715 heavy. 129, 127. Cross runway 25 left at Hotel 7 and runway 25 right full length. Alright, so we Back got all our VS speeds in. 7, box trot. Alright. Cross 25 left. And basically seven. what I've learned, if you set up the uh, MCD properly in the, in the Airbus, right you line. get all the information filled in for managed mode. I'm going to put it to 1,000 because it's 10,000 feet. It's going to be the altitude that they want us at. Put that in managed mode. Jet 1 Golf also. Tango, contact departure. We're departure okay. 1 right. Golf Tango. So we're in manage speed, manage heading, and manage altitude. That's what we want for the setup of the Airbus here. We're 701 Golf Tango, Norcal departure, radar contact, climb and maintain flight level 190. I'm missing a wing view. I'm going to go ahead and set this up real quick. For some reason, I don't know why. My wing view got wiped out. Jet 1 Golf Tango, clear direct Modesto. Let's go up into first class here. And go to the first class window. And I had a wing view looking back at the engine. Here we go. I want Romeo like Charlie, uh, disregard. Yeah, that's the wing view that I had. Let me go ahead and set that up. Control one. Awesome. Here we go. All right, wing views are good. And my flight attendant view right here. Perfect. All right. Looks like boarding is done. Let me make a quick announcement. Gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome aboard from a flight deck. This is your captain speaking. I want to thank all of you for being with us today. 286 Sierra Lima. I still don't have a flight plan for you. Alright, I have to show a it twice on pilot to the turf lot to the app. Yeah, you might have to use a different box, man. Awesome. That's All most right. likely the so, issue is if you're filing through the website. Seat both signs can come logged on. In with a different call sign than you're filing with. Turn on all the fuel pumps. It's good to go. Uh, let me connect and reconnect, see if that fixes it. Uh, let's check the temperature in the cabin. Temperature, yeah, 23 degrees. So I like it. Uh, okay, put on all. So, let's close up some doors here. Alright, we can move the fuel truck, we can move the cargo logos, and uh, we can also turn off the ground power. That switches over to uh, APU power, which is fine with me. And then, uh, we can close the door here and call up the pushback truck. Alright, so we removed the door, we are good to go. All right, let's call up the pushback truck. We're going to be pushing, let's see, nose to the left, because we're going to be using 3-4 right. At least that's what the ADA said, I'm assuming. We had a chance between 3-4 right or 3-5 left. I figured it would give me 3-4 right, which is just right there, short taxi. So let's call up uh, Better Pushback, uh, one of the best plugins um, for X-Plane. Please show me where you want to go. All right, let's see. All right. And looks like I had pushback set up here before. Let's set up a new one. Make sure we're going to be good to go. It's going to be a long pushback, but hey. And that shouldn't be on an active taxiway. Ground to cockpit. United 1399, contact Big Sky Approach, 11.6. Alright, pushback truck is coming. And for guys on chat, sorry if I'm ignoring chat. Usually when I'm setting up the airplane, uh, can't really read and set up at the same time, but I'll get to every comment and every question you guys have for me, okay? So give me a few here. 
All right, uh, we're going to turn on the beacon light. Okay, seatbelt signs are on, bleed is set, so basically we're ready for pushback. One Golf Tango, contact NorCal and for a 20 one thing we want to do is uh, turn on the ignition to start. That way we'll get um, the pressurization going to the engine when uh, pushback is Phoenix ready. Tower, UPS 97 and 15 the engine start is going to go. Yes, 9715 Heavy, Phoenix okay, Tower, runway 25 right, clear for take Ready to connect. Clipper take off from with you, 5 right, UPS 9750. Here we go. <coughs> Let me just jump pod side and see what this pushback truck is doing. I love this view, look at that. That's just an awesome view. United 13 and 9, big sky approach, Roger, expect on out Zulu, runway 10 out approach. Seven zero one Golf Tango, mark out departure. Roger Modesto, altimeter three zero zero four. So connected and white caps and inserted. Really, parking brake. For eight zero one Romeo Charlie, contact North Cal approach one two zero four. All right, here we go. Lease the parking brake. Here goes the jet bridge. For two eight six Sierra Lima, thirty Santa Barbara Airport. Nice. Via radar vector Sierra, and then a smile. These baggage handlers have no respect for my airplane. One zero, one zero See my airplane departure. pushing back and driving behind me. Squawk seven zero seven zero. South, this is pulling in over here. All right, let's play our cabin announcement. after departure. Departures on one two seven point four. Squawk seven zero seven zero. And let's start up engine number two. May we have your Vision Jet 6 here, Lima, read back, correct. And we got N2 rotation, so that's good. That means our bleed is perfect. Under the seat in front of you. It's forbidden to place hand luggage in front of the bulkhead seats or the emergency exits. For safety reasons... Rachel sure 1, Romeo Charlie, North Cal Approach, Roger, Selena, South Timeter, 3000. During taxiing, takeoff, and landing. Personal electronic equipment. And one of the ways you know that the engine tool has come up is that it pressurizes the uh, hydraulics immediately. You'll see uh, the aileron snap to attention, basically, on this. See that aileron snap to attention? That's how you know that um, engine is ready. Let's go ahead and start up engine number one. Number 701 Golf Tango, Oakland Center, climb and maintain five level 350. Got N2 rotation. UPS 9715 Heavy, Phoenix departure, radar contact, climb and maintain five level 210. Good to go. Unit 13, N9, cleared on Rav Zulu, runway 10, right approach. Number 286 Sierra Lima, Executive Ground, Runway 2, Taxi via Hotel. In case of impact on land runway 2 via Hotel, to position yourself as shown on the screen. You may use either position to evacuate the aircraft. Yeah, I'm not, this is a freeware Denver airport I'm using here. Everything you see here is freeware. I'm not sure who made this one, but I found it on the Oracle Store. Turn off the CFB. That's pretty good. It's got ground traffic, it's got airplanes at the gates, uh, decent on frames. So, I like it. Never had an issue with it at all. All right, engine number two Your life jacket is located seems to be good. Yep, here we go. And it's stabilizing. EGT is coming we down, so we're good to go on that. So we can turn off ignition back to normal. Pull the life jacket Pushback is almost done. Which is good. Do not inflate your life jacket until you leave the aircraft. Operation complete. The parking brake. Alright, let's hit the parking brake here. And basically, wait until they disconnect the airplane. This animation is so awesome. Look at that. Basically, lowers the airplane back down, take it off the trucks. We got the engines running, one and two. Alright, while it's doing that, let's set up our pre-departure here. We're going to go flap one. 
Thank departure, arm the ground spoilers, auto brake to max, and uh, that's good. We can actually turn off the APU bleed and turn off the APU. We did have all the fuel pumps set. We have no indicated lights that something is awry with the airplane. And uh, as soon as the sky pulls back, we can turn on a taxi light and request taxi. Alright, uh, taxi light on. There you go. Good to go. There he goes. There you go. Alright. Then of course the airplane is going to give me a check, make sure that we're good to go. One thing I almost forgot, we need to put on the T-cast on so that they can see us on um, the ground and direct us. Thank you boss. See you later man. Alright, here we go. <coughs> Alright, so we are good to go. Uh, we can actually check um, the flight controls. So that's right, left, down, up, rudder. Good to go. So we are good on the ailerons. We are good on the flight control checks. Nice. All right, and we can take do the takeoff config test. Make sure everything is right. You press the takeoff config button. Takeoff config normal. So all we gotta do now is just request some taxi. It looks like um, taxi up to Charlie Sierra, over to that red name. PS ninety seven fifteen heavy contact Albuquerque Center one three four point three two. And Denver ground, Delta 2806, uh, request taxi uh, from uh, Charlie Sierra Taxiway. Delta 2806, Denver ground, standby. Roger that. Delta 2806, runway 25, taxi via Runway 25 via Gulf, uh, Delta 2806. Well, looks like we have the runway change. We're going to go to Gulf Taxiway down to 25. We had put in runway 34 left, as the edit says. So before we taxi, let's just do it right here. Denver, departure. We're going to be changing to runway 25. Runway 25. Uh, still going to be foot 3. Aircraft 352, Quebec, November, with the weather ready to taxi. Flight plan change a little bit, so we're going to insert that. Here we go. So we're going to be runway 25. UPS 9715, Albuquerque Center, climb and maintain level 370. And everything else looks good. All right. Perfect. Not a problem. The airplane seemed to handle that perfectly with the runway change. November 352, Quebec, November, so Jackson Ground, runway 19 or taxi via Alpha. 19 via Alpha, 352, Quebec, November. All right, this airplane is still in beta, guys, as you know, but the developers are saying maybe in about a month or less it should be coming out for everybody. And I certainly think it should. I mean, at the state it's in right now, most things pretty much work. We still don't have a working weather radar, as far as I remember. Yeah, it's not in yet, but they can model that. The terrain radar works. The TCAS works, you can see all the traffic. And everything else seems to work. Um, and I still hear little things here and there that some people complain with. Not everybody have the problem, but that's just a side effect of many different systems running the airplane. So, But it's good. I like it. I had it since the first beta release and many flights with it, knock on wood, maybe one or two crash crashing at the sim or the airplane itself that I can remember but um, it's been good so far can't complain at all
The only complaint some people were having was that uh, we're making a left on Golf. Yeah, Golf down to 25. That some guys were complaining that the configuration for this airplane, I think, is about 130 seats. And they wanted um, 180 seats, like with other configurations from, they said, most airlines use more seats on board. But I don't care. 130, 180 to me, it flies good. So I guess they were saying for their virtual airline, um, it doesn't have enough seats for that. And that was the problem they were running into. How are they going to fly the virtual airline stuff with it? I don't do virtual airlines. Maybe one time, one day I'll get into it. So that kind of doesn't affect me. But I don't mind the um, seating configuration at all. <laughs> as long as the airplane flight is good is all I care about. Yeah, I know. That's probably selfish of me to say that. But for the masses, bring it out. You can always add that um, later on, if needs be. So uh, takeoff config is normal. Taxi lights are on. Uh, flap set, every trim set. You know what? I need to check one more thing here. Uh, let's see, flight control. I did say the trim was down 1.5. Yeah, it's got to set the trim down a little bit. I almost forgot about that. There we go. Executive tower. It's just a 286 here. I'm holding short of two. Also, uh, I'm using Enviro 1.08. After departure, turn right, heading 150, runway 2, bird for takeoff. Uh, this particular Enviro, right, X Enviro 1.08, I have 19. a shader that the um, that was provided to me um, by the developer. Uh, what was happening with 1. Point, I'm sorry, 1.07. Let's take that back. Enviro Enviro 1.07. What was happening was a lot of haze over the ground and a lot of people complained about it, including myself. So there was a shader that the developer came out with where he shared with anybody who wanted it. And that basically get rid of a lot of the haze that you see uh, when you're flying at a certain altitude. Jackson Tower, Beechcraft is and back I've flown with it once and I like it. Nine. I like that shader. Three, five, two, go back to Jackson Tower, runway one nine or third for takeoff, one one under zero at one two. All right, clear for takeoff, one nine. Uh, 352 back November. And 1399, contact Boise Tower 118.1. Yeah, flight time today for just guys who just joined me. It's going to be about a, an hour. And Rates change. One, Romeo, Charlie, but a little bit over an hour flight time. <coughs> yep, work and tray table. Boise Can't Tower United 1399, Ornez. One zero right. And a 1399 Boise Tower, wind 320. Right. Let's set up for takeoff. Right takeoff One lights, right runway turn off lights, let's ding the cabin. There we go. And uh, let's PS start the clock. Contact Albuquerque Center, 134.6. Switch over to tower. Alright, and I say tower was. One thirty-five. Three. We're gonna Go hold up here and put in our the departure frequency. Also, gotta get that queued up too. UPS ninety-seven fifteen Albuquerque Center, Roger. All right, departure out of uh, Denver one twenty-six one. set up, hold short and call for departure. All right, you guys ready to go? And Denver Tower, Delta 2806, uh, ready to go runway 25. Number 286, Lima, Norcott departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, level 100. Delta 2806, Denver Tower, runway 25, for takeoff. Runway 25, clear for takeoff, Delta 2806. Beechcraft 352, Quebec, November, contact Salt Lake City Center. All right, uh, strobe's on, beacon's on, nav's on, November. lights on. Uh, we got flaps set to one, um, ground spoilers arm, auto brake max, 
take off the trig all in the green. And I'm gonna hand fly this as much as I can until it becomes too busy. And then I'll turn it over to the autopilot. I like to hand fly that at least up to 10,000 feet to the or more. center. Squawk at it. On runway two, five. All right, here we go. Ready for takeoff. 352, Quebec, remember, radar contact, three and a half miles south of Jackson Airport. Climb and right. maintain 15,000 as VFR traffic, 12 o'clock, two miles southbound, I'll pin it cage 9,600. Flex 55. Uh, I got my throttle in. Right this is a high altitude takeoff, so the roll is going to be a little bit longer, it should be. Two Quebec, remember, traffic, no factor. V1, rotate, coming up. And we got positive rate. Gears coming up. One Romeo Charlie, Modesto Altimeter 3004. I don't know if they gave it to you already. Delta 2806, contact number departure. Over to departure, Delta 2806. And departure, Delta 2806, 6,500, 10,000 foot 3 departure. Delta 2806, number departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, flight level 230. Up to flight level 230, Delta 2806. Alright, cleared up to 230. And we're going to pull the throttle back to climb mode. There we go. Make that right turn out. Bring in the flaps. Good to go. You're track tracking nicely. Still hand flying it. Very nice. Yeah, this is one of the easiest airplanes to hand fly. It just, it flies beautifully, I gotta tell you. It's steady. Yeah, look at those clouds. Uh, that is awesome. This is ortho scenery. I think it's ZL uh, 15 or 17 I have out here. And then the airport areas I have a little bit. A higher ortho. Hcraft 2, Quebec, November, turn left heading 060, All intercept, right. correction, join, Victor 330, and resume on navigation. Still hand flying, here's downtown Denver, over my left shoulder. Alright, we're at speed. 2, Quebec, November, affirmative. At 9,000 feet, still hand flying. Net at 1399, taxi via Delta and uh, Alpha to the ramp, cross runway one zero left, remain on this frequency. All right, let's bring on the autopilot. Bring on open climb to uh, twenty three thousand feet. All right, so autopilot is in, and airplane is going to pitch over and pick up speed to go to two hundred eighty knots on the climb. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Here's a city down here. UPS 9715, descend via the Mali 4 arrival. And a highway leading into the city. Six left transition. That's just beautiful. Altimeter setting. All right. Once the altimeter for the transition, didn't put that in yet. 18,000 feet is the transition altitude. And we're going to be making a left turn out, out to the mountains out here. And heading over to Salt Lake City. PS ninety seven fifteen. Can you cut out there? Can you just verify to send via the Molly Four arrival runway two six? And this is basically looking over northwest uh, Denver, city of Denver spreads out like all the way out. West is a mountain, and we're on the Delta twenty eight zero six. Contact Denver Center one three three point six seven. Over to Center one three three point six seven. Good day. One three three six seven.
And Denver Center, Delta 2806, um, 13,104, flight level 230. Delta 2806, Denver Center, climb and maintain flight level 340. Uh, flight level 340, Delta 2806. All right, we've got up to 340 in open climb mode. All right, let's extend the range here. Number 286, Sierra Lima, contact NorCal departure, 120.95. I just love looking out the window. There's another airfield right there. And you can tell with Navigraph, it shows you exactly where you want on the SID and the STAR and on the airport. So, here we go. Delta 2806 for direct maker. Direct maker, Delta 2806. All right. Giving us a direct tour already. Number 286, Sierra Lima, North Carolina approach, Shredder. Direct. Maker, where are you? Pickens Rapids. Insert. There we go. All right, got the direct to. And coming through the clouds. Awesome. Yeah, that's a X Envira at work there for you. Looks like I forgot to set the um, transition altitude to 18,000 feet. But it's fine. As soon as I get there, I'll uh, click the transition button. Meeker. KR is Meeker. Okay, there we go. That's where Meeker is. Direct to... KR. Insert. Good. Perfect. Still coming through the clouds. Ah, oh, look at it. X Envira can be so beautiful sometimes. Nice. All right. Transition altitudes. Standard pressure, good to go. Climb out. I let them know we can um, get up. Let the flyers know they can get up and go about their business. Like that screenshot there. Climbing out of Colorado. Save that for the stream. And at 10,000 feet and above, we can turn off all the lights. This is why you need checklists <laughs> for checking all this stuff. And make an announcement from the captain. Ladies and gentlemen from flight deck, I will be turning off the seatbelt sign shortly. We've got a top notch cabin crew to serve you, and they should be able to begin that great service very soon. Yeah, I don't think this is ortho right here. This is regular X plane scenery. Looks good though. I don't mind it at all. We left the ortho stuff back there. Got to complete the United States with it. Yeah, terrain radar on this plane works. I like that. That's not cloud you're looking at. That's just the terrain below me, the mountains and stuff. All right, so we got throttle climb, open climb, nav mode, up to flight level 340. 
going to wreck Eker. We're basically still on the SID, but we're direct to Meeker. Meeker VOR, I hear. That's where we're heading to. And that mountain range you're looking at is what we're climbing over now, right there. It's pretty awesome. And we can go ahead and check, make sure the cabin altitude is climbing. Cabin altitude right now is 6,900 feet. I think that's going to be the max for it, or 7,000. And temperature in the cabin is good. Outside air temperature, minus 10 going up. Landing elevation is automatic. Salt Lake, 4,250 feet. 4,224 feet, rather, as we climb out here. So, yeah. Grade zero one, Romeo Charlie. The stock and altimeter is 3004. Use that for now, but advise you have the weather at Sacramento Executive and expect vectors for the ILS runway 2 approach. Just hold on and go full screen simulator on this here. There we go. Awesome. The three five two Quebec member to voice altimeter three zero zero four. Yeah, we're cloudy out here, man. Very cloudy. Huh. Interesting. Alright, once you're climbing out, let me just take Wonder a look at chat right. and see what's going on in chat. I think somebody had a question about something. Hey, Bay Area Gamer 21, how you doing? Uh, you asked a question for VATSIM on Explain, uh, how to make other online aircraft have skins. There's a download you can download for VATSIM, other airlines, it's called uh, Bluebell. You could just Google that. Let me look it up real quick and give it to you. And it gives you basically um, all the skins for all the other traffic out there. I'm going to see exactly what it's called so I can tell you. Yeah, it's called um, Bluebell CSL Package. And with that package, you just drop that in. And um, right, zero one Romeo Charlie, turn left heading three. It gives you one all the other airplanes that you can see. Discretion maintained for see if I can post a link here in chat for you. Yeah, go ahead and post the link in chat. And yes, uh, that regard. gives you all the skins that you need um, for for Vatsim and how you can see the other planes. Nice. Alright, coming up on flight level 310. Still going through some clouds. Nice. See much today. 
really UPS overcast skies. Contact Albuquerque Center, 124.32. That's fine. Let's see, the weather over at Salt Lake. What to expect on this? Let's see what Salt Lake is looking at. Let me go in there. Aetis for Salt Lake right now is 10 mile visibility, scattered 3,300. Alright, so it's good weather going to Salt Lake. Shouldn't be able to see some of that ortho scenery going in there. PS 9715 Albuquerque Center. Riders verify you're descending via the Molly 4 arrival and the El Paso altimeter is 2,903. All right, we're going to be leveling off here and um, going up to our final cruise speed. It should be about Mach 0.78, I think. We'll see. If not, I'll just bump it up. All right, so we're at our cruise altitude. Let's turn off these seatbelt signs. Both sides can come off. Let's turn off this ground spoiler. It's good to go. All right. It looks like the cruise speed is Mach 0.75. We're gonna override that. Wanted to Mach 0.78 at least. Got a 50 knot headwind. So we're only doing um 393 over the ground. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely bump it up a little bit faster flight today. Let's see, how much time we have in cruise? Uh, top of descent is 2304 Zulu, it's currently 2241, so we're looking at um, 2019, about 20, 23 minutes. So, we're going to be cruising, short cruise, 23 minute cruise, then we're going to start uh, our descent. So in a few here, in about 10-15 minutes, I'll pull up the ATIS for Salt Lake City, plug it into the MCDU. And I'm um, good to go. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely love this airplane. Absolutely love this airplane. Airplane flies nice, behaves nice. I couldn't ask for more. I right, look at that. That's so beautiful. X Envira, just a little bit of ortho I have out here. Great. Zero one Romeo Charlie, contact North Cal approach one two seven point four. What I like about the um, the EFB, you can click on map, gives you a Google Map, shows you exactly where you are. Toponas, where is that? Black Mountain, Colorado. So we're still over Colorado, Dude Ranch. So we're just up in the hills, man. We're over nowhere. <laughs> 801 Romeo Charlie North Cal Approach Roger Executive Altimeter 3003 Cross Coops out above 2000 Code Alice Runway 2 Approach And what I like about Navigraph um, is that you can actually go back click on flights it will actually show you where you are all the different air routes that are available. All right. So I'm going to Mika right now, direct Mika, right here. And then it will show you where the changeover is for the uh, ATC. So it's a changeover coming up right there. We're in Denver uh, Center right now. We're going to switch over to Salt Lake Center coming up after we hit Mika. So that's uh, the line to show you the separation. That's with Navigraph. You can also put your flight plan in here, and it will follow the flight plan and show you where you are. So, it's got a lot of cool features with Navigraph. And just having it in the airplane, in the 3D cockpit, make it so much better. So much nicer. Even though I have it on my iPad on the desktop. Alright. 
Ground speed 400, that's better. Yeah, we'll leave that there. It's not a long cruise. Two eight six Sierra Lima uh, When you come back, contact Oakland Center on one two eight point seven. Hey guys. Fifteen contact El Paso approach one one hundred point one five. Yeah, thanks for joining me on the stream tonight, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, basically, I'm at the point now, whenever I'm UPS flying, I, I fly live. I like flying live online. I always fly online, then I like, I love live streaming now. Just makes the flight more, more interesting. And make sure I don't screw up as much, <laughs> because everybody's watching, but I love flying live. Um, uh, it's just put another extra element to your flying, you know. First you fly the Cessna, then you go into the airliners, yes, then you say, okay, let me jump on VATSIM or Pilot Edge, then you get that out the way, and then you start live streaming, and it's beautiful. I love it. So just hit the subscribe button, that'll give you a notification when I'm, when I'm live. And uh, I fly this plane, I fly the Zebo, I fly the IXU 737, and there's one more airplane coming up that I'm going to start flying. Normally, 99% of the time I'm flying um, an airline, but the, the guy who helped design parts of this airplane here, he's designing a, um, a turboprop. Number 352 Quebec November. If I should have the weather at uh, Lander, the altimeter. Yeah, he's designing um, a TBM. I think it's a TBM 850 or a TBM 900, which can go up the cruise altitude like 23, 24,000 feet, and it's pretty fast. Single, single engine, but it's got a. If I'm not mistaken, the TBM has a, a turbine engine in there, but it's a prop plane, and it climbs up the altitude. If you guys love aviation, you probably follow on uh, YouTube. Um, Number 352 Quebec, November, flighting 130 vectors, visual approach, descend to maintain 900. One of the guys who fly that TBM, um, I forgot his, what his name is, but he flies that airplane. So they're developing that right now, and it's going to be Two like Quebec, number one, tree the zero. spec. It's going to be one of the best airplanes that come out. I'm going to get that airplane and fly that around too. But <clears throat> Two Quebec, number, just other than that, it's mostly airline of flights. Maybe later on I'll get into um, longer flights. Transatlantic first, cross country flying, and then maybe you fly over the Atlantic. But this airplane, once you set it up, you are good to go. That's what I like about it. Once you set it up properly, you are good to go. It gives you no issues at all. All right, we are looking good. Another thing for me, I, I don't think I can fly without head tracking software. I was saying earlier that I use um, a software called FreeTrack. And uh, with FreeTrack, basically, it just tracks your head movement. All you, you have to do limo, is get a track hat or make it yourself, or a track clip or make that yourself. Get the free software, download it, syncs up with Explain. Works just like Track IR. 
But for those who don't want to buy a truck hire, it's like 130 bucks, and the price don't come down because nobody has a competition for it. Use free track. You can look around the cabin, keep your hands free to do other things, fly the airplane, and I like that. And that's what I use to move around the cockpit so you can see everything that I'm doing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait for them to integrate the weather in this thing. And for me, that would make the plane almost 100% complete. I would say it's probably at 90% complete at this point. American 59 Good enough for release now. That's what I think. I have a quick clearance here to the Phoenix Airport. Road under 3 departures, Zinni transition, and then as filed. Climb via the SID. Departure frequency 127.4. Squawk 7265. All right, we got 15 minutes to top of descent. 2305 Zulu. It's now 0250 Zulu. So we got 15 minutes top of descent. I'm going to pull up the ATIS for Salt Lake and start plugging that in. So we can have that one step ahead of the airplane. When you're flying these jets, you just got to be one step ahead all the time. You just have to be. Alright. Here we go. It is time. Visual approach lander airport report cancellation of IFR in the air or on the ground on this frequency. Radar service terminated, change to advisor frequency approved. Two Quebec member, Roger. Have a good day. And uh, squawk via bar to IFR cancellation. Number 801 Romeo Charlie, contact 106. Executive Tower 100.5. Information mic. Alright, perfect. Let's go set up the MCDU here real quick for the delivery. <coughs> Alright, so QNH was 3025. 30.25. 30 Temperature was 6. Southwest 505, Albuquerque clearance low, clear to and the Phoenix winds Airport, were 360 at 6, 360, and then as filed, slash 06, departure Ooh. frequency 127.4, squawk 1556. Transition altitude 18,000 feet, and uh, let's go ahead and pull that up over here, make sure we got the decision height and all that stuff in. Go back to airport. Southwest uh, 505, read back correct. Salt Lake City. And our arrival into Salt Lake City. What are we using now? Yeah, we are using the Leahy 5 arrival into Salt Lake City. There we go. Okay. Leahy 5. All right, Sid, Leahy 5, let's take this out. Come on, where's the Leahy 5? Make sure that's what we're doing. Leahy 5, L-E-H-E, 
Or two eight six early mic contact LA Center one three five point five. Oh, that's Sid's, huh? Duh, star. Leahy 5, here we go. Okay, so that's our rival. Uh, and if we look at the airport Remember layout... 286 here, Lima, contact Los Angeles Center, 135.5. We're probably going to get 3-4 right, so let's head up for 3-4 right on the approach, too. RLS 3-4 left, RLS 3-4 right, there we go. Okay, good. So we got that all set up. And then what we need from the arrival chart is the either MDA, minimum descent altitude, or decision height. And here it is, decision altitude, 4,422, 4, 4422. Okay, so that's what we need over here. MDA, 4422. There we go. So we got the Q&H in, the temperature, the wind, transition altitude, we're going to do landing config full, and so we are all set up for the um, approach phase. Now we can also go over here, make sure that uh, the ILS is 3-4 right, let's make sure that's what we have, 3-4 right set up, go to radial navigation, and we can check the frequency on the ILS, we have 109.5, the course is 344. American 5964 push on alpha is approved. Come over here, and uh, 109.5 of course is 344 so yeah we are set up already for the approach so we are one step ahead of the game right now and that's all the airplane needs before the descent and we got about 10 minutes to go before top of descent I think they're gonna hand us off to um, Salt Lake City UPS 9715 Heavy, contact Alva Correction, El Paso Tower 118.3. Yeah, they should be handing us off soon to uh, Salt Lake City Center to continue our flight. <coughs> UPS 9715 Heavy, El Paso Tower 1240 at 14, runway 26 left, third line. Wait for that handoff. <coughs> yeah, I can't wait for XNVIRA 1.08 to come out. That should basically correct all the errors for 1.07 going forward. You know, <coughs> the haze effect, the clouds, they have like a lot more cloud formations now. American 5964, Roger. Just uh, call me back when you're ready. Yeah, they have a lot more cloud formations apparently or cloud choices to choose from, which I like in 1.08. The haze is going to be blend better with the Delta hillside 20, of terrain. 20 contact, Salt Lake City Center, 135.77. Over Salt Lake Center, 135.77, good day. 135.77, uh, Delta 20, Yeah, good evening, Salt Lake Center, Delta 2806, uh, flight level 340. Uh, 2806, Salt Lake Center, Roger. All right, we in Salt Lake's airspace. Yeah, we got a weather change here. Where did all my clouds go? Clouds are behind me. See that haze line Trevor right there? That's X and Vira. Taxi to parking via mic. The frequency you get. Yeah, I have a shader going on here with X and Vira. Not sure why it's giving me that haze line, but it's all good. <coughs>
Got the software called 3J Cabin Sounds, uh, where it comes with default sounds where you can customize any sound you want. You can play it automatically or you can um, play them whenever you'd like. It brings up a little um, thing here. You can edit them, you can set the timing, how long you want it to play, when you want it to trigger, and play all the sounds for you. I'm going to play around with that some more so I can add some more background and cabin sounds. And I guess that's one thing about the 737 Zebo mod where the F mod sound system is just awesome where it has all those sounds playing for you automatically whenever you <coughs> during the different phases of flight. Or you can play the captain announcements manually. I love that F mod man. Um, if that if that's one thing this plane is missing is an F mod similar to that. Don't get me wrong, I like the pla the sound on the planes on this the sounds on this plane, but that's something that um, I would love for this plane to have at some point some third party um, come in and make something like that it would be great let's see right now we're at Meeker or coming up to Racer let's see uh, actually no we're at MTU so we should we start getting descent instructions on the um, star soon pretty simple descent really just come all the way down to Leahy, transition down to I think that's 3-4 right 109.5 is the ILS, yeah? should be good yeah, we got about, uh, let's see, how many miles to run? 40 miles to run before top of descent these pop up, I don't really use them but all the different things in this airplane pop up you can click on it, disappear. Primary flight display, the navigation display, the um, everything pops up in this airplane, which I like. Even the um, CDU pops up, you can play around with it here. Delta 2806, descend to pilot's discretion, maintain flight level 240. Pilot's discretion, flight level 240, Delta 2806. Alright, it's set 240 here. I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I start the descent. I want to stay on this profile that the airplane is giving me. There we go, 240. Okay. Even all the panels pop up in this. Even the ECAM panel pops up. American 5964 Albuquerque ground pushback approved on the Alpha. The throttle pops up in this. Even the fuel panel above pop, pops up in this. Somewhere here you can uh, click it and it pops up, but I'm screwed with it. I think the radio panels pop up too. Yeah, there you go. The radios pop up in this too. Which is pretty cool. So you can set the radio and set the thing. That's all good. I don't need it. Because I have head tracking, which allows me to look around, um, it's pretty decent for me. Yes, uh, 9715 Heavy Roger Golf is going to take you up to runway 4. Uh, probably should have been a right turn off on Kilo or Juliet. You're going to Air Cargo, right? Okay, yes, 9715 Heavy, uh, turn right onto runway 4, uh, right turn on to Mike, and then uh, taxi to Air Cargo via runway 4, Mike, and Kilo. Remain this frequency for now.
All right, coming up on top of the scent in less than 20 miles. I'm descending right in this valley right here. Alright, put it back to manage speed. There we go. We're just going to slow down the airplane a little bit. Oh, we had a 72 knot headwind. Wow, look at that. Uh, right quarterly headwind. It's all good. And let's drop it down to uh, manage the descent. And make that descent announcement. Alright folks, here we go. We are descending. Flight time so far is uh, 39 minutes of a one hour flight, so it seems about right to me. And if you look here on the um, primary flight display, they pop it up for you. It's got this little ball. That's basically your um, your descent profile indicator. See if you're above or below the, the profile. And right now it's saying that we are below the profile. So as long as it's within this area, you're fine. Salt 2806, contact Salt Lake Center 133.9er. Go to Salt Lake Center 133.9er. Good day. 133.9. And good evening, Salt Lake Center, Delta 2806, uh, descending out of uh, flight over 340 for 240. Delta 2806, uh, Salt Lake Center, Roger, cross-speed at maintain 16,000, 16,000, Salt Lake City altimeter 3027. Cross Spain at 16,000, 3027, uh, altimeter, Delta 2806, 3027. Calling Albuquerque ground, say again. Spain at 16,000. Let's do that. Make sure, yep, 16,000. Spain. 5964, runway 8. Altitude constraint. We're going to make it 16,000. Yep, 16, too much zeros. So that's the altitude constraint at Spain that he gave us. And we're going to insert that. And it's going to adjust the VNAV path basically across Spain. And then the altimeter, we can check that to make sure it's right. We did set that up in the perf 3027. So 30 27. So it's changed. Delta 505, uh, Albuquerque Not ground runway 8, taxi via Alpha. All right. So we're good to go. So it did adjust the, um, the descent path so we can cross Spain at a certain altitude, which is fine. And here's Spain. That's a constraint. 16,000. Good to go. And we're within the speed range for descent. Descending at uh, 2,700 feet per minute. That's fine. We don't need any speed brakes at this time. We'll keep that. We're good to go. Keep that up. That's normal. So, so far, so good on our descent here. I do have some ortho scenery when we get in and around uh, Salt Lake area, but I got to complete the northern part of uh, the states here with the uh, ortho. I'll probably do some tonight. And it looks like we're getting back on profile. Here's a profile coming up, which is good. Speed's a little bit out there, but it's fine. No need to bring out the speed brakes or nothing like that. All right, I like it. I like it a lot. <coughs> and since we got the cross restriction at Spain, 16,000, let's lower this to 16,000. There we go. 
and 16,000 supporters at Spain. Good. So, managed ascent works out nicely. Definitely ortho right here coming up. I think with Salt Lake we should come down in this valley right here, make a right turn. Yeah. So Salt Lake is gonna be over here. Nice. I don't need all that haze. It's a beautiful airport to fly into. Seriously is. All right, seatbelt signs are on. There you go. Announcement has been made already. Got your 1345, Eagle clearance, clearance on request, standby. We're on profile, good, perfect. Speed's still good, I'll take that any day. Definitely off the scenery right there. Just checking to see if we have to bring out any speed brakes on this. Uh, none needed so far, which is good. Alright, coming up to Spain, which is here. Okay, Spain, landing north, expect 16,000. Runway is 3 4 left or right, we're gonna go for 3 4 right, that's good. And then the descent continues down to the ILS. Perfect. So it looks like we are on track. Let's see if there's any speed constraint over Spain. Uh, no, no speed constraint, but I'm going to start slowing it down anyway, just to manage that energy and that speed coming in. Oh, look at it. Look at that ortho. That's just freaking beautiful there. That's just gorgeous. Can't beat that. Man, look at that. Wow. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at the mountain range. This one, hell of a beautiful sim, I gotta tell you. Screenshot. That's why it's so nice to fly up in this area of the country. So green, so beautiful with the mountains. Alright, on profile, on speed, should be getting more descent instructions here soon. With the runway and so forth. 
Let's see if the aid is changed. Right now we have information. Mike, let's play this aid again. Salt Lake City International Information November. November, here zero we go. Five four salute. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Five thousand five hundred scattered. Temperature six. Two point minus three. Altimeter three zero two seven. Visual approach runway three two three four left. Three four right. Three five in use. Departing runway three two. Okay. That's information November. Cool. Wow, look at it. Comes right over the mountains into the city. Well, into the underlying areas. Can't beat that. 2806, contact Salt Lake Approach on 128.1. Over to Approach, 128.1, good day. 1281. And good evening, Salt Lake Approach, uh, Delta 2806, uh, with November descending <coughs> via the uh, BU-5 arrival. Delta 2806, Salt Lake Approach, stay altitude, leaving for mode C verification. Uh, currently, flat of uh, 17,300 leaving, Delta 2806. 2806, okay, Roger, uh, descend via the Lehigh 5 arrival, expect ILS runway 34, right approach, uh, we'll be landing north. And, uh, yeah, just for future reference, when you do check in with a new sector, we need your altitude leaving as well as the descending via uh, with the transmission. That'll be for mode C verification with a new sector. And roger that, Delta 2806. Uh, that's the Lehigh 5, descending via the Lehigh 5 arrival, uh, runway 34 right approach, ultimate at 3027. Delta 2806. United 1345, Eagle Clear. All right, that's pilot edge for you. They will correct you. So I'm going to continue my descent right, here. 1345, clear to you, Denver International Airport, just some 5 departure, Kremlin transition, Ram 6 arrival. Oh. Uh, maintain 15000, departure that frequency, Denver gorgeous. Center, 120.47, Look at that. squawk 6161. Look at that, folks. I mean, you can't beat that view right there. I can imagine what this looks like in real life. Man, that's gorgeous. Right at 1345, the the departure frequency is Denver Center 120.47. Yep. I got busy there, slipped up on pilot edge, paying attention to the scenery and not <laughs> thinking about my radio calls, but hey, that's how you learn. So he gave me um, continue on the Lehigh 5 arrival and the descent coming down. I have some altitude 13, constraints. 1345, read that correct. Calling Aspen, say again. 10,000 feet is the limit. Let's go back to 10,000. All right, speed's looking good. Roger. So 12,000 above a camp, 11,000 here. So 11,000 at camp. Plage is next. Okay, so actually 11,000 is the bottom altitude on the star. Good, so we'll leave it at 11,000. Let's look out the window here. Oh, damn gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. That is, that is beautiful. That is damn gorgeous over there. And this should line us up right with the ILS, pretty much coming in here in Salt Lake City. 1345, go ahead. And here's the lake. The little island out there. Nice. Yeah, it makes me want to be over in the um, first officer's seat. Just looking out the right side. At the view coming in. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, United 1345, okay, I just noticed that Kremlin's not going to take you on the arrival. I'm going to have to rework the routing. I'll get back to you in just a minute regarding that. Um, break, uh, Southwest 505, you need to return to the gate. And 
that is the beauty. Five. Okay, uh, proceed to taxi on to runway 8, turn left on Alpha 3, and taxi via Alpha back to the terminal with frequency. Alright, 11,000 is the bottom altitude on the Delta star. Delta 2806, clear to ILS runway 34 right approach. Clear for the ILS runway 34 right approach, Delta 2806. Alright, 34 right, we have pulled up, we have it assigned and in. So we're clear for the ILS, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, approach button. Hit the uh, right slope button so it identifies the ILS frequency, 10955, the heading, which is good. It arms the glide slope, arms the localizer, and we should pick it up as soon as it's ready because we are descending on profile here, which is pretty good. And then uh, basically arm the approach phase coming up here soon. Activate your approach once we hit the ILS. At least that's the way I think you do it. Nice. Nicey, nicey, nice. American uh, 5964, Roger. I'm going to have traffic uh, pulling into the ramp via Alpha here in just a minute. Salt uh, Lake uh, Tower. Do you require push back on the Alpha all the way five. back on the Alpha or can you push Woo. back onto the non-movement area? 119.5 is going to be tower. Let's set that up. American 5964K, hold position for now. I'll let you know when that traffic's moving into the ramp. All right, awesome. All right. We haven't seen the ILS coming yet. Uh, we're going to be, should be slowing down here. Let me go down to manual speed. Back it down to 210. There you go. Burn off some energy once we hit the ILS. And I'm going to drop the altitude just a little bit below the bottom altitude so we continue to descend until we hit the glide slope. And we should have armed these lights. Well, now we are above 10,000, but it's fine. We're going to turn them on anyway. It's high altitude. Alright, speed's coming down nicely. We're going to make the right turn here. And that should pick up, maybe not this far out, but that should pick up the, um, the localizer. Not sure how far out we should be able to pick it up. Now we should pop up here soon. Because we're prepared for the 3-4 right approach. Ah, gorgeous, look at that. Look at it! Double size 05 Roger. Wow. Uh, American 5964, push back up here down to taxiway Alpha. Just verify that your transponder is mode C on a side B component as well. Back runway 8 for departure. That's beautiful coming into Salt Lake. Alright, we got the localizer. There it is. Came in. We're locked in the localizer. Uh, glide slope, where are you? We're gonna stop it at 10,000. Let's just check here to see. Um. Plage is next, then Hacker. Hacker is 9,000 or below. Algae is 10, Plage is 11. So, yeah, there we are. Glide slope came in. We're just right below the glide slope. So we have the glide slope and the local is locked. We are on the approach. And um, I'd say we are, what, 15, 20 miles out. Yep, 20 miles out. Runway is about 15 miles out. Okay, we're good. So we're going to start slowing down here soon. Let's bring it out to 180. And make some announcements. Cabin crew, please prepare cabin for landing. Please prepare cabin for landing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now on our final approach. I'd like to thank all of you for flying. I'm just taking a look at some arrival information here to see what can use the Denver. So I'll get back to you in just a minute. I'm sorry, it's going to take me a minute here. All right, approach phase is active. Landing speed is 126 plus 5. I'm calling Aston, I'm sorry. Make it I'm 131. Uh, I think it was 162 Charlie Delta. Go ahead. All right. Let's bring out slats. That's what helps slow us down. Number 162 Charlie Delta, Aston ground, runway 33, taxi via Alpha. I bring out the speed brakes just a little bit. I want to slow us down to 180. Here we are 10 miles out. We need to start bringing the speed in, yeah. Nope. 
Ah, go full speed brakes. Slow us down. That's not we're going to bring out the gears. Even though we're a little bit over 10 miles out, so that's not bad. Here we are. So we're picked up at Hawker going in. Nice. And the speed's coming down. Stop list, uh, 505. Okay, Roger. I fire cancellation received. And we got Salt Lake City downtown off in the distance. Okay. Second notch flaps. Bring this out. Arm it. Yep. Auto brake low. That's good. Landing speed is 131. And we'll bring the gears down soon. Alright, for go around, let's see, what does it say? Straight ahead to Fairfield at how much feet? Missed approach. Thousand feet, okay, that's good. Alright, let's get the gears down. I'm still about 10 miles out. Gears down anyway. Gears coming down. Slow and steady as she goes. This is a long final into Salt Lake, but I love it. All right, let's pull it back. 131. Contact Salt Lake Tower, 119.05. Over Tower, 119.05. G'day. 119.05. I had five. And good evening, Salt Lake Tower, Delta 2806, ILS uh, 34 right. Delta 2806, Salt Lake Tower, wind calm, runway 34 right, clear to land. 34 right, clear to land, Delta 2806. All right, five miles out, back to final speed. Um, gear downs, flat full, full speed brakes armed, and three. landing config is full. We can check the config. We're good to go. So we got landing lights, Remember taxi one, lights, flash the cabin, uh, we are landing, and I'm basically going to, I'm going to take over manually here. Executive ground, Mooney 801, Romeo Charlie. Clear one, Romeo Charlie, standby. Awesome. All right, manual flight. Let's bring this in nicely. Uh, wind is basically calm. Hey, United 1345, sorry for the delay. Um, you can expect to join the arrival after traveling direct to LP and then join the Ram 6 arrival. Approaching. All right, Three, no problem, four, sir. Five. We will, uh, after Kremlin, we'll. Proceed on to Elke, direct Elke, and uh, we'll join the ramp six from there for United 1345. Thanks, sir. Number 801, Romeo Charlie, ground, go ahead. Romeo Charlie, base of the tower, weather like taxi for oh, northeast departure. Number 801, Romeo Charlie, runway, uh, correction, runway two, taxi via Mike. Two via Mike, one Romeo Charlie.
Retard. Retard. Ten. Don't float it. Long landing. Alpha Long Creek landing. Ground American. Right. Right. 5964 Thousand. to Remaining. Alpha Alpha 3. Request it. All right. Bring it down gently. Reverses out. Eighty knots. Manual braking. There you go. All right, I'll take that landing any day. That I will take. All right, let's get off this runway. Two, three. Start the APU. Good to go. All right, folks. Welcome to Salt Lake City. One hour, three minute flight. Stop the clock, and we are good to go. Awesome. Uh, let's stop it right here. Bring up the flaps. Delta twenty zero six. Taxi via hotel to the ramp. Monitor ground to one two three point seven seven. Good night. Hotel to the ramp. Monitor ground one two three point seven seven. Good night. Southwest twenty eight zero six. Remember two Quebec North Cal departure clearance on request. Standby. Let's say Southwest. That's uh, Delta twenty eight zero six. Awesome. One, two, three, seven, seven is the ground for the ground. American 5964 at Alpha Alpha 3, request taxi. American 5964, ground runway 8, taxi via Alpha. 8 via Alpha, American 5964. Beautiful, awesome. I love this scenery, I love it a lot. <coughs> Let me just switch over this frequency real quick. One, two, three, seven, seven. Remember to you Quebec clear. Don't want to get yelled at on pilot edge, so make sure I do it. Remember to you Quebec clear from the Half Moon Bay Airport to the okay, Lima good. 70 Airport as file. On frequency. Maintain. 4,000. Flaps up. Flight level 390, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.1, squawk 6745. And Delta gates are over here somewhere. Okay, I see it. So go down to Southwest gates, make a right. Wheel temperature is good. Okay. Number two, Quebec, right back, correct. How APU soon bleed can come on. There you go. Number two, Quebec, Roger. Time zero two three Take seven. Take off to radar. If not off by zero Strip two five off. zero. Report uh, airborne this frequency on course. Release for departure. Yeah, guys, this plane is ready. I like this plane. It's exactly that correct. Change to advisory frequency for no major bit. hiccups or headaches during this flight or previous flights I've done on it. And so, I definitely Sorry, Mooney, either one. One can't one complain one about this plane at all. Number 801, Romeo Charlie, works. Executive Tower, runway 2, cleared for takeoff. Say again, your direction of flight. Clear for takeoff, we're going to northeast towards Auburn. 1 Romeo Charlie. We're on November 1, Romeo Charlie, Roger, straight out departure approved. Straight out departure, 1 Romeo Charlie. Alright, and I think Delta is over here. Yeah, Delta is over there, so we're going to park at one of those Delta gates. Yeah, I don't have any landing announcements. Yeah, I don't think I have any yet. I gotta put those in there. For this particular airplane. Okay, no planes are in the alley. Oh, the taxi is nice also. Taxi really smooth. I do have rudder pedals here. And it just it just taxis nicely. Oh, really guy? <laughs> Delta guy came right in me. It's fine. Here's Delta on both sides over here. Okay. Maybe that is for... Okay, let's put it at Bravo 16. Yeah. Let's put it over here. Yeah, this is good. We'll work with this. Bravo, now Bravo 14, Bravo 12. Nice. Yeah, 
It taxis beautiful. Uh, we're not lined up here properly. Eagle ground, uh, United 1345. We have the weather ready to taxi. United 1345, ground runway 25, taxi to Alpha. 25 Alpha, United 1345. Hook it up, Chalk's power, look at that. Awesome. All right, parking brake can be set. Engine shut down. Here comes the auto gate. Seat belt signs off. Beacon lines off. Here comes the gate. Oh, nice. And we can uh, turn off taxi light. On a turn off light, which should have been off before, but we are good to go. All right, folks, welcome to Salt Lake City. Not a beautiful flight on the Flight Factor A320 Ultimate. I would say it is definitely an ultimate plane because it is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and open up all the doors. Uh, air stair, we have a gate called the door, cargo, and uh, fuel truck for the next person that's going to be going out. And one hour and four minute flight. Pretty much that uh, Simbrief said it was going to be a one hour, five minute flight. So we saved that hour there. Disarm that. This is good. <sighs> Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this flight. Thank you so much for watching the stream and participating uh, in it. One Reno clearance. And go ahead and hit that so subscribe button so you can see when I do other flights uh, with the Zebo and with the IXCG. So the 737 800 and 737 300 is basically what I'm going to be flying next. I'm just going to be doing the one flight for this evening. Got some stuff to do. But um, you guys can get notified yeah, when I'm going to be flying again anytime just by um, towards subscribing to the channel here. And I appreciate the support, appreciate the Morning feedback, okay, Roger. On request, and I appreciate by. the participation here. Okay. Albuquerque Tower. Thanks a lot. Uh, America, and thanks very much for joining me on this flight. Is ready for departure, and sir. on this beautiful scenery. This is uh, Salt Lake City by uh, Mr. Albuquerque Rex. Tower, wind 330 okay. at 15 gust P1, runway 8, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, 08, American 5960. Eagle Tower, United 1345, hold short.